Good morning, Eagles. Hope you guys are having a great morning. Today is Thursday, September 28th. I'm Juan Covarrubias. And I'm Holly Hicks. We've got a great show for you guys today, so let's get started. Your Canon News starts now. now. Please stand with me for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Right off the bat, we're going to go to Morgan, who has some questions for homecoming candidates Finn Giddings and Haley Austin. Hi, I'm Morgan, and I'm with homecoming candidates Haley Austin and Finn Giddings. All right, right off the bat, I'm gonna get really personal. Are you ready? Oh no. Oh, no. Crushed or cubed eyes? <sighs> Crushed. I'd probably have to go with cubed, I think. Oh, you just lost my vote, sorry. sorry. <laughs> What's your guys' favorite candy? Oh, I mean, I'd probably say my favorite is Reese's. Well, some days I'm feeling fruity, and then some days I'm feeling chocolate, but I mean, <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to settle for Butterfingers. Hey, Mr. Gates. All right, thank you guys, and now back up to the front. Thanks, you guys, and thanks, Morgan. I had a chance of going to Nest Fest last night, and it was super cool and a lot of fun. So good work, Stuco, and keep it up. Band Book Week is next week, Monday through Friday, so make sure to stop by the library to get a band book and have a chance to enter a contest for an iTunes gift card. For those of you unfamiliar with Color Guard, Sam Federoff made a video telling us about it, so let's have a look. We all know and love the Color Guard for their amazing halftime routines at football games, but unknown to many, the Color Guard has an alternate indoor routine which they use for competitions. They put in much hard work to create these stunning routines. So the indoor routine is different from the outdoor routine because the indoor is much more close up and it's usually a little bit harder than the outdoor routine just because it is so close up and we are closer to the judges and the audience. I think it was more difficult to learn the indoor routine since uh, we have the dance stuff that we have to do. And the outdoor, I re like, you can just run around. And so we have to take that into consideration and make the routine a little simpler so that we can do that. I'd have to say the most difficult part would have to be like remembering what you have to do next. <laughs> I think for the newer people, it can be more challenging than the older people because we already kind of have a sense of like how things go and also how like what moves to do. But for the new people, I think it can be challenging because it like you said, it might seem to go at a faster pace. And so after the first competition, I think it'll be easier to catch on and also to not feel like we're going at such a rush pace. I prefer the outdoor because uh, it's a lot more interactive with everyone in the stands and it's a lot of fun. I prefer the indoor routine over the outdoor routine because it is much easier to bond with the girls on the team and also to get it together like more in time. And it's just for personally, it's more fun to do the indoor than the outdoor because you get to feel that connection with the other members and the audience. Thanks for that video guys, keep up all the hard work. Morgan also had a chance to sit down with HOKO candidates Henry DeVry and Kelsey Templeton, so let's see what they have to say. Hi, I'm Morgan and I'm here with homecoming candidates Kelsey and Henry, just trying to get to know them a little better. What's your guys' go-to snacks? Mine is popcorn. Mine is goldfish. That sounds good. Uh, what is your favorite <laughs> Disney movies? Mine's Lion King for sure. Mm, I go with Monster Zane because I think it's funny. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys. Thanks for that and good luck to all the candidates. Volleyball has Dig for the Cure tonight. Dig for the Cure? What's that? Let's throw it over to sports to learn more about it. What's up, North Nation? I'm Peyton Watkins. And I'm Taylor Burrow, and we're here to talk about all things sports. The Liberty North boys soccer team improved to a 12-4 record last night with a conference win over opponent Raytown. The score was 5-2 with goals scored by Dylan Posada, Zach Shipper, and a hat trick for Mason Leith. The boys also played tonight at home against Staley, so good luck, boys. Softball played last night in Raytown and won 19-0, and Jamie Jackson hit an inside-the-park home run. They played a night at Platte County, and they played 
three games over the last three nights, and they end the stand with fourth tonight. Volleyball plays tonight at home against Liberty in the Dig for the Cure event. Let's set it on over to a video for more on that. Hi, I'm Haley Wine. I'm here with Hannah and Haley from the volleyball team. And Dig for the Cures tonight. So, how about you tell me a little bit about? Um, Dig for the Cure is a volleyball game that we've done since last year. It's always against Liberty, um, but this year it's uh, all going to be benefiting a Kansas City volleyball official who's battling cancer for the fifth time. So, all the proceeds from tonight will go to her and helping her out. What does it mean to the team about Dig for the Cure? Um, Dig for the Cures are always a really important game to our team and even Liberty because it brings us together because we're not just playing for ourselves or like to win to have bragging rights. We're playing for the people who are battling cancer or have survived or even the people who have lost cancer, like to cancer. So the game is going to be awesome against you and Liberty. Liberty. So what else is going on tonight? Um, there will also be a silent auction there tonight. I know they're selling some cool things. There's a lot of gift baskets and I think a signed Eric Berry jersey, and they'll also be selling wristbands. Well, good night to, good luck tonight, and please come down to Liberty North to support our late Eagles volleyball team and Dig for the Cure. Back up to the front. Uh, oh, well, on. I have 20 smackers right here to donate for Dig for the Cure tonight. Make sure you guys show up and donate as well. Anyways, that wraps up our show. We'll uh, thank tomorrow. you guys for watching. <laughs> Until then, we'll catch, catch on, on the, the north, north side. side.